where Marta and Garrity, a Canadian couple who lived in Toronto and bought 2.5 acres of vacant land three hours north of the city. We worked as our own general contractors and got our hands dirty to create our dream cabin into our new home. We are now starting to develop the rest of our land by building a guest A-frame cabin. Hit subscribe to follow the journey and welcome to our channel. So we passed our framing inspection, which is amazing. Our wood shed got built. We're just waiting on the steel, as you know, for the house and now the woodshed. We have been working in the forest just making all those piles and a skid steer just got dropped off because we have tons of sand and gravel coming to even out around the A-frame and just get that done now that most of the wood cutting is done and uh, it won't be as many trucks going in and out. So we wanna get that leveled off. So yeah, big things happening. Today we are backfilling all of this to even it out. So here's our first load of sand. site today finishing up we're almost done with the sand and then they're gonna bring granite topper for all around delivered and I have to place each one to make a row truly I my back is broken I think I don't know if you can see but I've been making just one linear line by hand I still have a little bit to go but at least now you can differentiate the driveway and the hangout area by the a-frame I'm exhausted I'm gonna keep going. Our tiles got delivered on a skid and it's left smack in the middle of the driveway. So I'm gonna have to take that skid apart and bring each tile in by hand. <laughs> My back's really hurting. Anyway, that's enough for today. And I'll come back, I'll go for a little walk with the dog and yeah, handle those tiles. Wish me luck. All right, it is full blown fall. All the leaves are falling off the trees very quickly. And this week, what I didn't capture is all the orders I had to do to prepare. So while the electricians were here and wiring for things, they were like, what induction stove do you have? And I was like, let me buy it right now. Or like, what tankless hot water heater do you have? What's the wiring required? So there's like a lot of things I just didn't buy <laughs> ahead of time. And the plumber came and it was like, did you buy a shower faucet? What is it? So I bought it on the spot. Um, so I've been preparing for things like that. We did get our wood stove, as you saw, our tiles, I stored all away. And then our hearth came in for the wood burning stove. It is rainy today, so I wanna get that put away because it does tend to rust. Anyway, so a lot of carrying things back and forth and just ordering, but this is like the behind the scenes of the build of like all the things you don't think about that you need to buy 
while, you know, roughing is happening and really think about where you want your blocking, um, you know, for hangers and things like that. So we're not tearing out drywall later, like we did on our first build and uh, add in blocking after. So we're kind of thinking ahead a little bit. It's just really rushed and everything's happening at once, but it is what it is. And yeah, it's freezing today. And as you see, my car is full again. I've been buying a lot of things. I have the shower heads and a patio set. So I thought this was a lot smaller, but no. Anyway, so now I'm gonna go finish my rock <laughs> project before everyone arrives for Thanksgiving. And yes, Canadian Thanksgiving, it's different than American Thanksgiving. And yeah, hope for the best here. And then I'm excited because we're actually gonna do something fun for once, which is go to a drive-in movie theater that is off-grid here. And I'm gonna watch Hocus Pocus. There's my strong man carrying the heart to the shelter logic for now because it cannot rust and it's a bit rainy. Okay, it's Thanksgiving and I have my brother up and I've convinced him to do the stone around our house, which is like one of the last things, plus our kitchen counters, which are coming in two weeks. And then we can call for final inspection, which would be really nice on our main house, but I'll show you what we're doing there. And it's not going as easy as uh, I thought it would go. So I asked for piping cement, but they didn't explain that you needed to mix it with sand. And we have some under that porch, so we have to filter it. <laughs> and hopefully we'll come out with some piping cement. So we have been piping. We mixed a bunch of filtered sand with some masonry cement. We're using the piping bags. Garrity is a masonry pro. It's not bad for our first time. We're smoothing it out with a metal spoon, but it's coming together. Looks way better than it did before with the blue skin. So the stonework, we had some leftover from our house, so we put it on here, and I think it looks way better. Me and Garrity are going to do the piping this weekend on here, but I think that's a good solve. My brother also made a good point. Obviously our rafters sit pretty low to the ground. So we're actually going to put like a, a protective coat on the wood. Dig that out. Sorry, <coughs> just sneeze. <coughs> Dig that out a bit. <coughs> oh my God, bless me. Um, so that we have some more um, space and grade it a bit better. And then we're gonna put steel underneath anyway, so it should be okay. We have a bit of downtime. Our metal roof is getting delivered today, but it's not getting installed for about a week. I've just been stacking wood and our chimney installer came, but he had the wrong um, box for inside because of the slope of the roof. And he's gonna have to come back. He's gonna order some custom stuff, um, but I'll show you quickly where the actual stove is gonna be so in that corner right there um but yeah he had to get some other uh flashing to go behind it so he'll come back to install it we were gonna go lay stone on the a-frame but it is windy and downpour so it's still raining outside but we're gonna do the stone we have a little bit left from our house on this side my brother already did the other side so we're trying to work inside and stay dry so we did lay out with whatever we had left and now we are going to adhere them with our lovely concrete mix Hopefully it stops raining. Truly the 
weather is wonky. It's sunny over there, it started raining, and now it's full on hailing. Nuts. So not bad for Garrity's alone masonry. Yep, that's the... Now we just got a pipe. My new career. <laughs> yeah, no more hair, just laying brick, no. Uh, now we just gotta pipe it, but the weather today has been wonky as you saw it was hailing, so. Yeah, we're just gonna do that hopefully tomorrow's so we woke up to literally two to four centimeters of snow and it's really early like last year at this time it definitely was not snowing till november and it's mid late october now so anyway we're kind of stressed out because we need to get our steel roof on all the blue um, kind of underlayment on the roof on the A-frame is covered in snow and we have a roof supposedly being put on this Saturday, but it's supposed to be 18, which is nuts. So you can see how the snow quickly builds up on our roof, but it is gonna melt and it's really good packing snow so you can throw snow at it. <laughs> Right, it's pretty early morning today is a big day we have our chimney being installed our little mini split heating unit being installed before the spray foam we have the electrician coming by to drop off a generator because we do think we need one up here and we also have roofers coming to install our steel so a lot of trades in one day as always and it's a saturday so pretty much everyone's doing us favors at this point but um yeah I'll take you along on our busy Saturday and hopefully a lot gets done and the A-frame looks a little closer to complete. So we are fully strapped. We still need to run our ducting through there and our chimney, which is being worked on right now and they've started the metal sheets on the other side. of the top of the roof line. Got our split unit going in. Some ducting from the fan. Got our chimney happening. Roof is progressing. And now they just have to do this side. Okay, so now I am sealing our stonework. Uh, we bought this penetrating sealer, put in a squirt bottle, and so you can see where it's darker versus where I haven't done. And just spray it on. It's supposed to last about five years, depending on obviously weather conditions and things like that, but All right, so today we are going to bend metal to make a little cap for the bottom of this. We have the metal or aluminum brake bender, whatever it's called, for one more day. So Garrity is just working on that. We're cutting these uh, to about seven and a half inches and then bending 
at um, about an inch. So it'll end up looking like, I don't know if you can see my little cap here. There we go. So it just sits like this and then we're gonna uh, put some screws into here so at least the wood is protected. And I did put a sealer on this as well, just to make sure. So yeah, that's what we're doing now. I'm proud of myself. Beautiful. Let's slide it on. Let's see if it fits. Let's hope. So we extended our rental, got another whole roll of the flat stock aluminum and we're gonna build the templates for this while we have that machine um, and account for the siding that's going on and then we're cleaning the inside of the a-frame because tomorrow is spray foam day so everything that i've kind of placed in here we gotta have the door move the tiles because we're spray foaming all the ceiling and exterior walls so and then the day after we have a huge delivery with all our interior stuff coming. So it's time to get cleaning. gonna look really nice. Just gotta get to the top. <laughs> so this is 16, so yeah. it is right in half. So the bending is going really well. Well, yeah, a little bit slow. Uh, it's three o'clock and we have two more hours of daylight, pretty much, maybe three, and we have to do the whole back. But that one side's done, this is halfway done. And yeah, we have to return this in the morning. Okay, one side down, it just took us five hours to figure out all these cuts and angles, but hey, better than nothing. All right, it's five o'clock, but we finished all of the aluminum that we needed to, and Garrity's just uh, driving in some of the last nails down there. We're gonna start on this woodshed so the roofers didn't have time to put on our seal roof. I watched them do it. We picked up this little tool that you indent before you screw, chalk line, all that. We're gonna take a stab. Not sure what's happening with the brown and silver on top. I think it's just protective layer because the black is underneath. The sun is nicely glowing, but it'll be setting soon. So we gotta get started. Be so stupid when I got all the signs. I guess that is love. Yeah. Step one, we need to remove the bracing. Now the reflex are lucid, and I know that I'll be fine. I guess that is self love. You think I'm going and then the dropping. We ran chalk lines based on our measurements. 
At this point, it is nighttime and we are trying really hard to finish our woodshed. You can't see really, but we're trying to do the ends for it and cut all the steel while well, we have the cutter. Can't really see what we're doing anymore. We're gonna have to abandon putting up the actual roof and just cutting everything and doing it on a sunny day. Working into the late hours, eh? Yep. With this build, we are risking more and trying new things. Between purging, stonework, and aluminum bending, we are very proud of ourselves.